Hi guys and welcome to another Stun Hun tutorial. Or should I say Sun Hun Fun tutorial? It's a play on words because I took the word Stun Hun and I replaced it with the word Sun Fun. Smart. That is smart. So right now in Ireland we're experiencing a very small amount of sun and everybody's flipped the f out. So I wanted to make sure all my Stun Huns have a go-to guide for staying absolutely stunning and hunning in the sun. Here we go. First things first, you don't want to be bothered by that pesky thing we call work. Ew. So you're gonna have to pull a sickie. Who cares about all those pesky bills? It's important to create photo memories of what looks like fun that you're having. So make sure you come up with a good excuse. Just saying you're sick won't be enough because everybody's gonna be trying that. So something like this. Hello, this is Diane's father. Diane has died and can't come to work today. Number two, when you're outside, it's good to have a cute animal to attract potential mates. You probably have one lying around somewhere. Where did I put that? Okay, um, ah, there it is. Where'd you go? Oh. I guess you'll have to keep it hydrated, but pet accessories are super cute, so use them for the pose. Yum, yum, yum. Hydration station. When the sun is shining, it's a great time to take advantage of your Instagram followers, both the 300 real ones and the 9,750 ones you bought. Be sure to use your sponsorships to their full potential. Mm, just casually having a photo shoot in the park, drinking my broccoli avocado water from the juice cleanse diet. It helped me lose 75 stone. Hashtag for realsies, hashtag no filter. And don't worry about telling anybody officially that it's an ad or a sponsorship deal. Most of your followers will be too stupid to realise. And besides, you're a really good actor. Gulp, 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 drinking it for real. Pro tip, when you're out in the sunshine, remember not to have too much fun or you'll get really sweaty. Filters can only cover so much, but there is always Photoshop. Stun hunt tip number four, do not eat or drink anything ever when the sun is shining. In general, a good stun hunt will be following an oxygen diet. A diet whereby you essentially eat nothing but air. Mmm, air tastes so good. But your not eating anything diet is particularly important now that you're taking advantage of that summer wardrobe. Mmm, there's nothing to wear! Not eating is super essential. However, if you're super hungry, there are lots of non-foods you can take advantage of. Here's a really complicated ice lolly recipe I found. Step one, get water. Step two, put water in ice lolly maker. Step three, add ice lolly sticks. Step four, freeze them. Step five, pig out. They are so filling, I'm such a fat cow. <coughs> Stun hunt tip number five, do not worry about sun damage at all. You'll see and hear a lot of people are applying sunblock. They're big silly heads. You need to apply baby oil. After all, what are dermatologists for? While they're magicking away your wrinkles with Botox, they'll be more than happy to cut off all those pesky skin cancers that are particularly prevalent on sensitive Irish skin like mine. Well that's it for today's Stun Sun Fun tutorial. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comments below. I'm always more than happy to guide you through the wonderful world of staying stunning at all times. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Toodles! Hey guys, so I know a lot of you don't need a reminder that the Stun Hunt videos are satirical, but it turns out I have a lot of young viewers out there, so I feel the need to kind of point out that this is all tongue-in-cheek and should not be taken seriously at all. Do enjoy the summer having, go eat your food, put on your sunblock. The Irish Cancer Society has a section on their website, cancer.ie, on being sun smart. There are some really good, really simple tips there, so go check it out. After the last stun hunt tutorial, a couple of people were asking me what a stun hunt was and it had completely slipped my mind that it was a term pretty specific to Dublin, Ireland. But maybe you guys can take it and use it in your own area because this type of human exists everywhere. They're people who basically focus on the pose all the time. But actually, if you have a similar term for those kind of people in your own area, let me know below in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear what you call them. And feel free to engage with one another in the comments in a respectful way. Chewie is gonna go back in his box now till we need him for the next video. Goodbye, Chewie. You're the most abused dog in Ireland. Help me. Yeah, so my friend was in India and I caught this like really random bug that's like really contagious. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Chewy. Hi, yeah. A raccoon broke into my house and stole my car, so 
I can't even physically get to work even if I wanted to. 